and welcome to your conclusive video for Haynes this morning. So behind me, everyone's filling up their bellies and their mouths with all the rest of the food that's going on there. And also behind me, you can see the feds are already here. So it's just like, you can't even go anywhere about the feds all over us. I'm only messing, they're here to show off the cars. Awesome stuff. So behind me here, we've got plenty of cars. We're gonna walk around. I'm gonna try and get every, mark my words, I'm gonna try and get every car, or as many as I can. And then we're gonna go up the road later on, get everyone driving by. So it's gonna be a sweet morning and thank you for joining me. So let's get going and looking around. So we begin with one of these. Now, when did you ever see one of these on the road recently? You don't see them anymore. Humble Metro, lovely clean color, beautifully clean actually. No rust either that could be visible with the biggest amount of stickers I've seen on a Metro. But yeah, that is a sick little car to start. You don't see many of these. It's beautiful. We have got a BMW with special mirrors. And I thought I'd show you the back of it because it's got a lip and a tow bar as well. But next to it, we've got this, which is, I don't know if someone's in here, we'll soon find out. Look at that, look. For sale as well, look. Proper mobile shanking wagon, that is. If that's your sort of thing. I definitely can't comment on that, that's not my interest. But yeah, look at it. Oh, Bedford, cute. So we've got a 182, beautiful colour. This MX-5 is tickling my berries today. I'm loving it in that colour. And you can tell he's definitely cleaned his wheels. They are beautiful. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. Then next up we've got an MG, which from the slight eye, the side of your eye, you might think it's just an Evo if you're really not looking too carefully. This is a lovely yellow. They do the Evos in this sort of yellow, it's a nice colour. And then we have indeed got a 4C, but loads of people taking photos, so we'll just sort of get it from here. There we go. So, we've got this gangster Jeep. Love the tinted plate on that. And then next to it, making it look ever so smaller than it is, we've got a little KA with skid wheels in the back as well. Some proper, <laughs> proper wide tyres on that as well, look at that. Yeah, funky with a little spoiler on the back. Very, very tasty next to this old Alpha, which has a very interesting rear end. It slopes to such a degree, but it's got a very nice interior. And the interior, you probably can't see it too well, it does match the car's color as well, which is quite, quite special. So I think this is a, um, I don't even know what this is actually, I'm not gonna try and guess what it is. It's an AMG one, so it's probably fast, some sort of V8 in that, I would imagine. I'm liking it. Now we have 50 shades of fitment here on the Mazdas. We've got, Nice fitment on this one. We've got stock fitment. But, do you know what? These are very cute, I'm not gonna lie. And then we've got this one here that's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's close. It's close, look at that. Yeah, let's have a little switch and have a look at the back of these as well. It's got the R top on this one. I like that, I don't know if that's been, um, that might be custom that's been molded into the back of the bootlid. I don't know whether that's comes like that, I don't know. But yeah, nice little selection of Mazdas. And look at that look. We love that look on the indicator, little love arts. So we've got a clean 36, I must say very clean. Let's have a sort of track spec, maybe a drifter. We've got buckets in there, it's very steamy. A bit like my car after a Friday night. Um, and yeah, it's it's nice, it's really nice. It's got a nice rear diffuser on there with a the centre brake light as well. And that wing, just it just suits the car so well from the back here. So we've got Golf R, you'll probably see a few more of those. Next to a very nice Mark II GTI. Very tasty with a sunroof as well. And then we've got this sedan. Look at that beauty. I absolutely love these. The interior is just such a plush, lovely material on those seats. Look at that, tasty. And you've got the 6 x 9s in the back as well. That's proper fucking cool. It's got little twist knobs to put the rear seats down as well. That's quite funky too. But yeah, I rate this massively. So if you've got a big belly like me, this car's perfect for you. If you smoke cigars and you like old women, this is what you want to buy. Baller. But in all seriousness, look at... So we're just going to focus on this length of the bonnet, yeah? It's literally half the size. I mean, it's probably this. Let's have a look. So this is the rest of the car and that's the bonnet. The bonnet is probably the same length as most of the car. It's madness. I mean, this is on a wide shot, yeah and this is how much I've got on the car. But I do love these old style hubcaps and it's just a gorgeous car. It's just a bit difficult for me to get on film because it's too big. But inside here as well, I mean, you could sleep on that. You could sleep, it's got a little arm rest as well, quite cute. 
and uh, yeah, it's just pretty cool. I'll just uh, continue walking back for about half a mile until I can get it all on video. Oh, there we are, look. Let's look at the back end on that. I mean, how many people, how many people could you fit in there? It's just massive. And then next to it, we have this clean golf. Now, this golf's special because it actually has a one nine derby. It sounds fruity. The BBS's, look at these as well. Sweet little fitment on that as well. Beautiful, gorgeous Mercedes with this paint splatter, which, do you know what? It looks decent. For something that's probably a fairly easy job to complete, it actually looks really nice. I'm digging the wooden rack. I'll be taking that home to make a fire because of the current crisis we're in at the moment. We'll need that for firewood. But this thing as well. Mm, mm, mm. Look at I love these old school cars with the roof racks on. Look at it. Wee little jet alert. And I think next to it we have another one, I think. Look at that. Look. I mean, the fitment again, just bonkers fitment. Definitely winning awards for some of the best fitment here, definitely. We got a Civic looking very gangster. Just missed out the Shaggua next to it. Very, very nice. So, uh, I do really like the brown on this one. Shout out for Southwest ship boxes as well, but I absolutely love the brown. It is so gorgeous. So, I don't know if that's Chris's car, I don't think it is, but I thought we'd get all the uh, South uh, Southwest ship boxes cars on there. So, we've got a nice Mark IV. We've got the old Fezza, Fezza Rooney. And this one series is very nice as well, actually, to be fair. So we have all Z South, all Zs Southwest. Can't speak very well. Lovely in the all black. Thought we'd be able to walk around of all of them here. So we've got a good selection of 350s and 370s. I love them, the 370. Very beautiful. This one is in white as well. Looks really nice. Nice wing on the back of that as well. But yeah, we've got a good selection. There's quite a few of them actually. So we have a facelift ST with a lovely purple roof, I just want to highlight that. It's quite different. It's like purple carbon, look. So we've got the Ford crew down here, so we're just going to do a little rundown nice and quick. <coughs> just because there's just too many of them to record them all separately. Uh, apart from just highlight Steve's uh, lovely car, uh, very tasty. So yeah, there we are. That is probably the cleanest ST I have seen. But it's quite new, so you'll understand it'll be quite clean. And we've got this thing, which has got very funky, I can't think what they're off of. They're very funky wheels. So we've got the Cooper Squad as well. Lovely. So we've got a little 46 here. I'm loving that sort of wing, how it comes around the rear. It's quite funky. And then we have this GTB. I commented before about the spoiler. Look how far back it goes. But it's like a marmite car you love it or you hate it but in this case i absolutely love it and it's got those old alpha style sort of circular wheels that look really nice and then we have this beauty i'm not so fond of tt's but this is just lovely it's these wheels just really make the part look at them it's lovely and the seats inside absolutely beautiful with the gtr star style tartan got goes in with the mats as well that's quite funky yeah, look at this from this corner here, it is a good looking car. And we've got a beautiful XFS Estate, lovely. It's next to an MR2 with the old pop-ups. Not popping up, but they are there. I just, I love these MX-5s, I just love them, I don't know why. I don't even like cutting hair, but I love them. Next to another hairdresser's car, but again, it's very elegant. Expensive trims, I expect, if you uh, want to get one for the owner of that. And then we have the, uh, the Ford Puma which uh, is definitely an interesting car. Nothing like the old Puma used to be anyway. It is a nice colour. And then we do have two new STs, which are sat next to a very nice Porsche on pepper pots as well. Lovely. So we've got a nice GTI and a nice Mustang. Just want to mention, this is the 7, where the grille red goes straight through into the headlights as well. It's a nice look. And then next to the Mustang, we have... I don't think it's an M6, but uh, it's definitely a 6 Series, I think. I might be wrong. Is it M6 Coupe? It isn't a Coupe because it's a 5 door, so I'm probably very wrong. I do apologise. They've always had a very interesting rear end, these are. And then we've got a TTRS. 
probably one of the biggest sleepers here i would imagine so we got a 1.8 to kangoo now i actually went out for a test drive in this because i was going to buy it and ended up didn't in the end because um it was just i don't know, <laughs> I don't know why i didn't get it but here it is anyway very beautiful tree look at that Got a nice little 180 there, look. That engine in this car. Little Fez. Next to a Z4. It's very beautiful GR. Very nice. I think that's an old Audi. An old Audi 80? I don't know. Probably wrong. Got a Cougar ST line. Lovely. And we've got this. The yellow lights do it very well. Next to these, you never see any of these anymore. Very gorgeous BMW. Next to a Sora. Look at that. Beautiful rear end. On the M6, which also features these sweet wipers on the headlights. <laughs> XR3i, beautiful example. Lovely. He's missing his grill on this one, or is that because. Hey, Chris, what does this do? and see what happens. A hand comes out of the bonnet or something. Bonnet release. Bonnet release. Yeah, I would imagine that's what it was. Nice, look at that. Here it is, the big 380 SE. Beautiful, beautiful German wafter. Making the Mini look so silly small. It's a nice look. It's more wonky than your Nan's knee, the camera on that. Wowzers. <laughs> Do you know what though? Let's sit. Very clean, very, very clean. <laughs> we have a Jetta with very good tuckage. That is my new word, <laughs> tuckage. But yeah, look at this. Tucked, man. Absolutely tucked. We have actually got a Nissan Sunny, rare in itself, with these freaking awesome free spoke twisty little th looking things. I'm going to call them twisties, but very funky. Suits the look of it very nicely. We just love it. It's beautiful. Very, very clean engine. Loving the blue sort of pinstripe decal down it as well. Look at that, look. Beautiful. This beautiful Capri just setting the scene here amongst all the other cars. Looks amazing. This is an MX5, nice colour, but it's got the chunkiest tyres I've seen for ages. It doesn't get more bonkers than this. Absolutely amazing. We've got an S3. Do you know, it's quite a sleeper because it doesn't look too obvious, but it's quite a whip. And then we've got a nice 6 Series as well. We've got a nice A6. Now 50 Shades of Mazda, with many stickers on the back. Go and check them out on the old Insta, we'll slide it in there, whoop. There we are, so this is still a build in progress, it's on my channel. Go and check it out, review is done. Sick car, uh, scraped everywhere. We've got Chris's Saab. Beautiful. Another one we've got a feature, which we'll never get around to featuring, but we shall do at some point. This Odyssey is lovely. The owner must be such a stud. Um, and then we have uh, a... Well, what do we have, Chris? We have a Discovery with the letters on, and then we have one with uh, rugged boots on, ready for a definitely a good time off-road look. I just want to show you the height difference as well, yeah? And we've got a little Oddy there as well, tucked on the end. But yeah, look at the height difference. <laughs> A 350 on the race, the same sort of anthracite grey that I painted mine in, but it looked great. And this Saab is for sale, two and a half grand. All in, everything included. So we have a Porsche. I'm not going to guess which one, <laughs> but it is a Porsche, it is very nice. So, rich man's feet. We've got a very nice MX5 as well. And then we've got this absolute beauty of an old school park, an old 306. Lovely, look at that. Look. Always have a soft spot for these. Fen 2, then we've got a supercharged M3. Look at that. Probably one of the coolest estates you can actually buy. C63 AMG. Beautiful. Next to a VXR. Nice, 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 nice. GTI 180, you never see them anymore. They always used to be wrapped around trees. It's nice to see one in person. Well, Insignia VXR estate. Next to a nice little R bar. Uh, limitless approves of just the beauty, beauty of this. Look at the colour as well. Lovely. This Lotus though is just, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just 
undescribable. Everything about it is just so beautiful. And then we have these little Lupo, not a Lupo, we have a little up GTI. I love these, they're quite funky. 323F. Very, very rare indeed. Got an old SLK compressor as well. I'm digging the bronze wheels. It's a good look. Fitment's nice as well. Very beautiful M3. And M4. Nice, nice, nice. Got a very nice S4 again, next to a nice M3. An old retro Jaglet, beautiful car. Got some nice big wheelbarrow wheels. Mini here. <laughs> very nice old MG. I have to admit, I love the green on that. Pop bar. SLS, nice to see. Mazda with the old pop-ups up this time. And then we've got a Cupra something. Something funky. M3 convertible. Lovely blue. And then we have a 205 GTI with a sunlit as well. Look at that. Man. Got a nice old wrap on the ST. Wrap in this guy's garage or company, whatever it might be. Mini Cooper S. We're doing a fast walk down now because everyone's leaving. So uh, that's how long I've been taking today, talking too much. Another. Another one. ST, you'll see plenty of those. It's a Golf R line, I think. I think. I don't know. Lovely old Ford. We love a bit of that, don't we? Oh, look at the spoiler on the three as well. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. You know, you're in Britain and you're in Dorset. Pristine example. MPS3, I think, non aero kit. I think M5. Another R. I said we'd see another R. I told you. Another M3. R35. So next to the MX5, we've got another import Odyssey. This is an RB3 Mugen edition. Makes me very jealous. We'll just run around the back because that is the sweet spot with the RB3. Very pristine. Same with the Mini as well. Very clean. Very nice 36. Next to a beautiful beer. And to finish off, we have a Fiesta and a nice old Saab Turbo. An old selection of Jeeps. I say old, not very old in fact, but we have got a nice little collection here. Nice Rubicon, a Wrangler, an old TJ. It's a four litre as well. Lovely. Grand Cherokee SRT, which I think is the LS3 in those. Yeah. Um, we've got a few more here as well, which are 3 litres I think. At least probably an old 4 litre V8 or something like that, I expect. There we are, a nice little collection of 3 army whips. So yeah, dedication for you guys, I'm here with my umbrella on the chair, on this junction, uh, watching the cyclists go past. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're going to get your cars. This is dedication I have for you guys. It's unbelievable, I'm getting soaked. So 500, lovely. Now, I'll tell you what, the rain's probably just worked in my favour when I'm getting soaked because what this means is, this means, ladies and gentlemen, that everyone's going to be going. So we're going to get everyone leaving and going past, which is tasty. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad I brought my umbrella because it is soaking wet. I've got a sock coming now as well. Hello, mate, all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah man, these guys are umbrella as well. Look at him. Yeah. He's fucking sorted. Nice, here we go. Let's go down. 
Audi, look. Hey! And there's the old alphabet. for here man <laughs> and we had a lot of the dry weather during the event, which is super. So here I am with the Odyssey, ready to go home. I am actually so my arm is like a puddle. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next month when we'll probably be freezing to death, I would imagine. See you guys soon.